Well, good morning. I hope you're doing well. And for those of you in the United States, I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. We are back in Manor Lard, and as you can see, it is June now. The people have worked on their crops. They have built their church, finally. Yay. And uh, what else is new? Well, they are in the middle of working on their windmill so that they can grind wheat into grain. And they are working on their communal oven. They also have several new houses and a couple new families have moved in. So, yay, the town is growing. Or I should say the hamlet, because it's not even a small village yet. So everything is going great on this front. So let us scroll out and go check in on the bandit. And there are our brigands over here. These are the ones that are closest to us. And they're awaiting orders. So nothing much going on on this front. They're all just sitting there waiting orders. So let's go check in on the other Bergen camp, which is down here, a little bit further away. Now, looks like they are also awaiting orders. So we will keep an eye on them. In the meantime, I'm thinking I need to secure the road here. Definitely the road here, because that leads right into the town. And somehow up this way. So let's see, we have 10 planks, 9 timber. We need more families on the logging camp, I think. What are they doing at the logging camp anyway? Let's find out. Waiting. Okay. All right. I think I just set that. <laughs> Limit work area. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I set it. And we don't have anybody currently working at the Forester Hut because we pulled a lot of families to get this set up in time. They have two flax fields. Barley, wheat, and this is supposed to be wheat. I don't know what happened here. Not much, apparently, and they don't seem to want to work it. But once everything is done being built, we can take a couple families and shuffle them around. Still only have one person here on the woodcutter lodge. And we should probably give them a new area to work in. So, go to advanced, limited work area. And I think we'll have them work over out this way next. One of nice big trees for them to chop. And it'll keep them away from this area, because if you log too much into the berry area, they could end up killing the berries. And one of the reasons I'm very happy that the game is out this far is because that means that they're uh, 
forested area is safe. Which is probably part of why they are reproducing so quickly. Alright, we have 11 months. We have 11 months of food and 18 months of fuel. So we're doing pretty good in that department. Let's take a look at our little chart, shall we? Hey! Bandits came by. Where do they come by from? They must have come by here. Because it said berries. Nope, I don't want that's not what I want. And which yep, I knew they were gonna cause us some trouble. Stealing our food? Alright. How's our... We're only at 20 of 36. We need 36 strong men to form a militia. So now that that's all set up, let's see what we're going to need in order to build our manor. Looks like we're going to need 5 logs, 20 planks, and 15 stone. Well, I know we don't have a lot of stone, but that stone is so far away. I guess there is no uh, getting around it. We're going to have to build our stone mining pit. I better put a road out that way too. Something for them to travel. There, that should do it. That's gonna be an awful long trek, though. I wonder, wonder what else I could put out this way. Do we have any sort of barracks? Some sort of sentry station? Something I could put there for protection? We have a corpse pit. We're probably going to end up wanting one of those, but not just yet. But no, I don't see any sort of barracks or anything. I wonder... I wonder how they're supposed to defend the place if they don't have anything like that. It's such a peaceful pastoral little hamlet, isn't it? So quiet. So quaint. Would be a lovely life, actually. Just very peaceful. Of course, we could really use a couple more families to move in. We have a lot of unfilled jobs, like the storehouse, the granary. But things are moving along, and, well, the villagers are settling in, and things are getting built, and aside from a couple of bandits stealing a little bit of food, 
We haven't had too much trouble from that front yet. Let's cross our fingers, shall we? But now, it's time to say farewell to our little hamlet of Glenwood. Next week, we'll see how far they've gotten. And if they've had any more trouble with the bandit. Until then, bye for now.